PeopleTools Integration teaches integration using a project build approach. There are seven sections in the course. Each section covers a specific topic, and we build projects within PeopleSoft using both the browser and application designer. In section one, we gain an understanding of XML. Using an example of an employee, we describe that employee in a simple XML document. We introduce XML schemas, documents which describe the XML. Then we go to the PeopleSoft system to explore the different message types that can be used in an integration system. We also learn about synchronous and asynchronous messaging. The first project we build in this course is a publish subscribe method of synchronizing changes across two databases. We first look at the finished project where we make a change to a record on an HCM instance and see the same change reflected in the financial instance. Then we start building the project, starting with defining row set based messages, services and service operations, publishing people code, nodes and routing, subscribing people code, and testing. This foundational project will give you a great understanding of asynchronous messaging within PeopleSoft. We start this section again with a demonstration of the finished project, an Excel workbook that communicates with PeopleSoft using web services. Within Excel, we see how we can search for specific records in PeopleSoft and return the details of the record we are searching for. We create two service operations for this project, one to provide a list of events and one to provide details for a specific event. We create a WSDL for these operations and test them using a third-party tool. This project provides a comprehensive skill of providing web services that third-party systems can consume. Documents can be used for creating message structures shared between two services. In this section, we teach the parts of a document, primitives, compounds, and collections. The relationship between documents and document-based messages is explained. In this project, we explore the use of consuming a third-party web service. In this case, we use a weather service which returns the current weather for a given postal code. We demonstrate the finished project. We change the postal code of an address and the current weather for that postal code is displayed on the page. We import the third-party WSDL into PeopleSoft and inspect the objects that the web service import wizard creates. We then work to build and test. At the completion of this project, you will be able to consume web services from third-party providers. In this section, we introduce REST-based services, REST methods, and compare JSON and XML. We show how a REST URI is constructed and offer some tips on how to design a meaningful URI scheme. We then proceed to build people code handlers for the REST methods. We show how to implement GET, DELETE, and PUT methods, recognizing variances in the URI structure. At the end of the section, you'll be able to pro provide RESTful web services. In our final project, we expand on our REST knowledge and consume a third-party REST service. We use a postal code service, which returns a city and state based on a postal code. In our project, we will update the city and state on the screen upon a change in the postal code. At the completion of this course, you will have solid integration skills and will be capable of providing solutions to all types of integration requirements.